Hey lightweights, welcome back to some more Horizon Forbidden West. Last video, we finally made it to the West. We joined the embassy and shit hit the fan. Uh, we were introduced to Regala. We were introduced to a couple other characters that had been in the trailers, but I don't know their names yet. Um, but it did not go very well. It did not go very well. Uh, we also figured out what happened with the Bristlebacks and how they got into the Daunt and took out our first bandit camps and their first tall strider. So we kind of did a lot, um, a lot of main story stuff and a few side stuff as well. I'm really excited to jump back in to the main story. I'm definitely going to be starting with that this video. Once again, I did like a bajillion things off camera because <laughs> I didn't want to stop playing. So you'll notice that the map looks a lot different. I did not do any side quests. Um, I just explored, opened up pretty much every bonfire that I could that wasn't super close to a quest marker. Um, I did stumble across a couple rumors and I did talk to them, um, but I didn't do the actual like thing they were talking about. So like I heard the rumor cause I didn't really know what it was at first. Um, and I don't really think you guys miss anything. They just talked about some big bandit camp. Uh, so I'll probably keep talking to people with rumors in the future. I just won't do what the rumor is about. Um, but there was an actual side quest marker that popped up and I did not talk to that person yet because I wanted you guys to be able to see that whole quest line as well. So I think I'm gonna jump into the main story. Just know the map looks a lot different. Uh, there is a side quest on the map as well. If this main mission doesn't take the whole video, then I will try to do that too. Uh, but regardless, I'm super excited to keep playing. I am obsessed with this game and I am so excited to keep playing. Um, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button bell button when you do. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm tripping over my words. So let you know when I post the next video and here we go. Okay, um, so here, here's what I did. It looks a lot different than last time. <laughs> I found a viewpoint. I discovered a cauldron, but I didn't do it yet because I figured I should at least do the first cauldron on camera. Um, ran into a lot of things that I couldn't do. Oh, also found this survey drone thing that when I walked next to it started a quest, but I didn't do anything with it. I want to do that on camera because I have no idea what that is. It might just be a collectible, but um, I wasn't sure. So I wanted to do the first one of those, at least on camera with you guys. Um, like I said, quest marker. And... Oh, I did the hunting grounds. Um, the hunting ground in this area is all stealth. I struggled with it a lot more than I did in the first one. Um, two out of the three took me multiple attempts. The third one I did the first try. Uh, also, this main city, this plain song place, I didn't want to go in there because I wasn't sure if it would trigger something. So I didn't go in there yet. But that's what I that's what I did. Um, there's a, there's a thunder jaw right next to a drone, so I'm gonna have to kill that sucker. And just so you know, in this household we call them Thunder Jimmies. I don't know why, we just do. So when I call it a Thunder Jimmy, I know that's not his actual name. Just keep that in mind. Okay, <laughs> anyways, here we go. Main story! Um, I cleared out these, uh, th these things. They were just like monster havens. They, it was just machines, machines everywhere. And it was not easy. And I went through health like nobody's business. And I kind of wish I did it on camera. Um, but that's okay. It was literally just fighting machines. So it probably wasn't that exciting, but it was just chaotic. So I thought that was kind of exciting, but I didn't really know what I was getting into when I went over there. And I've just been doing so much talking. Can you tell I'm excited? Oh, I can't walk on it. I wanted to walk on it. Alrighty. So we are going to the coordinates recovered from the spire. Yeah. 
And I doubt silence will actually be here, but who the heck knows? What's that over there? Something is glowing. It's probably one of those green shardy things. <laughs> it sounded like I said green shard. <laughs> that was shard with the D. Workshop underneath a dead horse titan. Just oh, the no, kind it's of place not. silence would slink away to. It is a what was he doing here? The device is blinking. I guess silence wants me to check it out. Hand scanny. Okay, but first let's get the stuff. Oh! There were these cool collectibles that I do want to listen to on camera with you guys. Um there are downed planes, and you can collect the black boxes. So I don't remember if I did the first one on camera or not. So I want to listen to both of those again, just because I personally found them to be incredibly interesting. And for those of you who are not playing this game, maybe you only have Xbox or you can't afford the game, whatever your case may be, um, I really think this is like a really, really cool component to the story. Um, so I want to listen to these on camera with you guys, because... One of my favorite parts about the Horizon Zero Dawn and hopefully for Horizon Forbidden West story is the the um, memories from the past that show you how we got from that to this. Um, and the black boxes do a really great job of showing you like that final precipice, like right before humanity is about to collapse. So I think that's really cool. So we're going to listen to them right now. This is Transport 95 Yankee. We are switching to the new bearing and we're down there in the city. It can't be. Projections put them 200 miles out. Well, they're here now. Quickly, bring us around them. We have to... Shit's going down. Down to one engine. Mount this train. And you actually landed it. How did you do that? You saved our lives. Yeah. But it's what? Four hours before the swarm gets here. I should have let us all die in an instant. Now the 12 of us are trapped, waiting for the end. So I just thought those were really good. They gave me goosebumps the first time I listened to them. So I wanted you to experience that as well. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. You can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand, well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin anyway. Dude wants to interrogate Hades. Hades almost destroyed the world again. But do you think you can control and interrogate him? Okay. Some kind of log. Most of it's redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. So that is one upgrade from the last game. I personally like to read through all the logs and listen to them. However, with the text logs in this game, it's really cool that she just summarizes it. In the last game, I don't recall that she did that. Um, you kind of just scanned it and then you had to go to the actual like reading in order to know what it said. In this game, if you're someone who doesn't like to do that, which everyone plays differently, but if you're someone who doesn't like to do that, um, she just kind of summarizes it for you so you don't have to actually read it. You can get a gist of what it's about without actually reading it, and I think that's kind of cool. So for those who don't want to spend all of the time reading the text logs, because I know that there's a lot of them, um, that's just a nice little option for you. Okay, day one. Despite my concerns about missing couplings, it was relatively simple to install Hades on the detached processing orb. The subject appears to be fully conscious and completely helpless. Even so, it will never divulge its contents willingly. Ergo, it's time for some experimentation. I think he means torture. Okay. Day two. My initial attempts at coercion have failed, but patience is in order. It's self-aware, so it can suffer. All it takes is the correct stimulus at sufficient intensity. Day five. Success. The irony is delicious. Various forms of data produce discomfort in the subject, but none more so than natural imagery. Holographic representations of plants and animals work best. The more vivid, the better. The effects appear to be excruciating. One loop in particular of rabbits hopping through a field of flowers produced paroxysms of agony. I don't know what that word means. I'll have to look that up. Very soon, I believe, the subject will become compliant. 
day six. I've extracted some fascinating technical specs on Gaia's data structure, specifically how her heuristic matrix interweaved with her subordinate functions. Yet the more I learned about the system's intended workings, and especially Hades relatively simple role as an extinction failsafe, the more I wonder about the signal that corrupted it. What could have possibly transformed a low-level machine intelligence into a fully conscious super entity capable of strategic planning, deceit, and even genocide? Some form of previously unknown pharaoh software, perhaps? But I don't see how such technology could be sufficiently advanced. Unless further technical discoveries were made after the destruction of the biosphere, perhaps by survivors in Elysium? It all seems far-fetched. Back to the source then. Eventually, Hades will tell me what I want to know. Day seven. It appears that my coercive efforts come at a significant cost. Hades' digital convulsions produce waves of feedback that corrupt its data structures, and the effect is accelerating. The interrogation is quite literally disintegrating its mind piece by piece. By the time I'm done, there will be little left. No matter, the data I've extracted and will continue to extract is worth any price, as long as I can access it all before the subject becomes the electronic equivalent of a hollowed out skull. Day 10. Finally, the revelation I've been seeking has revealed itself, astonishing and terrifying even to me. With it, the seeds of a plan have formed within my mind. The next few months will test my capacities more than any previous challenge. I'll have to stretch my intellect, reach higher, and dig deeper than ever before. Yes, I'm confident it can be accomplished with a little help, of course. Day 12. My work here is done. I've learned all I can. Hades deserves no pity, but it is indeed in a pitiful state. It's time to relocate it to a more impressive position for its date with destiny. About that. Aloy still hasn't returned to Meridian nor learned of my ruse, but she will. It's only a matter of time, and then the pieces will begin to fall into place. Oh, he planned everything! Okay, I think I've upgraded everything that I want to slash can. Frost blessing. Yeah, I don't really use that right now. Okay. Outfits. I'm not wearing those outfits yet. Traps. Okay. I just like to double check before I go into a mission if it's close because you never know. And we're gonna save. Aloy. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Um, I'm gonna assume... Those red crystals again. ...that this just giant rivet is... is the trail to follow? Not rivet. Divot. <laughs> Stay on the path. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Yes, but now we know what to expect. So it's weeks against fire. I've got that. I can detach that. Okay. 
I just realized that there's multiple versions of each thing. So I kind of need to scan everything even if I think I've seen it already. Oh, whiff. Nicely done! Okay, yeah, the trail goes directly over there, so we need to take those out as well. Um, this is a warrior bow, so that's not gonna reach. <laughs> Smart. Don't worry about it, guys. Nothing to see here. just ignoring the fact that I just killed his friends. He's like, eh, no bother to me. I get some more scrap. Why can't I do a stealth takedown? That's weird. love the combat in this game, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I should probably get this. Ready for anything else? I hope there's some more, uh, Healy plants on the way. Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but... How? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Wow, I uh I discovered this campfire already. I could have just fast traveled. Is detecting some kind of locator beacon. We're gonna save again. Um, killed a bunch of those leaf flashers there. They can be a little tricky. Just gonna get this little planty plant. Ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Okay, I did see this, but I didn't walk in here because I. Machine to haul his prize. 
had a feeling it was something I was going to need to go into for a quest. So I'm glad I didn't waste my time like I did in the other place. What is that? What, what are those things called? Tri Triceratops? Looks like a dinosaur. Okay. Silent stockade is in. In the door. Looks like a pharaoh facility. Or a zero dawn. Okay. Come on, Sam. You still in there? Is Hades giving us a vision? Hades? Is that you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. You are the AI. Come to destroy me? Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia back up. <sighs> then Gaia is dead. Earth and you too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. <laughs> Been easy. We had to try. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? We know this already, Aloy. You don't remember any of it? What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> when the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? who knows where doing who knows what Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making and you nearly ended the world seven more functions out there cooking up trouble they might not all be bad though you are unhappy good oh anyone ever tell you, you sassy little boy Hades? sarcasm detected yeah didn't think so Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? 
Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are a deserted extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. Then there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted in years 2054, 2161, 2168. So? Th that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override on. To activate, stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging Extinction Protocol. Bye, Hades. That is a bright white light. Woo! Aloy. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes, trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing. But he is. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? I don't know how I feel about him. Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it tried to destroy life on Earth. Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... The details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. I was worried for a second that that was only going to let me choose one of the dialogue options, because he made it sound like that was the end. I guess I chose them in the wrong order. Just to confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. 
Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. <laughs> That's not exactly a denial of silence. Take it any way you want. All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Eloy. Damn, Thanks Eloy! Everything you desired. Everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Ah, <sighs> uh, I... Mm, I don't know, guys. He makes it really, really, really hard to like him. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Well, Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to So can I just use my fire arrows on them the entire time? Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. Okay, to good. build it, you need <laughs> some really annoyed. the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lashes power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindleweed. Just need to get the parts. And see, this is why I loot everything I can. I already have some of the things I need. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh... Okay, now where's its power cell? That'll help. I'll Tag. have to detach it before the machine goes down. I can do that. I should probably attack all of them, just in case I end up attacking a different one. Ah, fuck, that was my opportunity. Okay. It's okay, we got this. There goes the part. Did I get it? Pick it up. Ooh. 
Okay. That wasn't bad. Don't worry about me. Just mind your own business. Where are they and where do they see me from? Oh, they're there. Okay, got the parts for the igniter. Okay. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. Just Some gonna time, leave them be. Things. More like extracting invaluable data. Okay. Oops. Special gear. I had leap lasher coils and I used them to upgrade my stuff. <laughs> so I could have almost not needed to do any hunting. There. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. Finally. I think I'm in. Then by all means, <sighs> proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. A whole world of opportunity has opened up at my fingertips. Um, I freaking love when we get to go into the old world stuff. Letopolis. Oh, this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. That's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Um, so this is just people who have come in. Don't really need to read through that. I always feel guilty when I don't listen or read something that somebody spent time creating. Because <laughs> somebody spent a lot of time creating that. Um, I should probably do a running jump for this. Well, this is familiar. Making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. Okay, so that's where I'm trying to go. Alright, um... Too far away. I should have known. Hmm. My pullcaster might come in handy here. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. We all know I'm probably gonna fall, so you're probably not wrong, but I kind of hoped there'd be stuff over here. Okay, that was pointless. <laughs> Can't win them all, I guess. Oh, wait. I was supposed to go that way? Okay. Oh, huh. Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. An energy cell. <laughs> that did it.
Whoa! Um, I need a battery for that. So let's just pull this over here. I don't know what this does yet, but we need the battery, so <laughs> might as well put it in right now. Play da- But- No, no, no! Play the data point! What's above me? No! Aloy! My man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm going to move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing. And it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know, like Drax.net-4. I think your boy is nicknamed that one the Moldover Brain Hack. That was a clearance level 9 project. Aw, oh, thought you goose scrubbed this place quick and clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No, here we'll do just fine for Hades. Later, Teddy Bear. If this place was isolated from the outside, then any Gaia backup stored here wouldn't have been purged. Safe from tit What was this room for? Oh! Looks like there is another Shit. console that needs power. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize she was going to cut him off when she jumped down here. Oh, fuck. I need the battery. How am I supposed to get the battery in here? Okay, one thing at a time. This console shut down. So I need the battery to loot that. Okay, so the crate can be pulled over here. Okay. And fire gleam. So we can bring it from here to, I guess that makes sense. I was a little turned around when I was in that room, but we did drop down to get, okay. Um, fuck, I hope this doesn't break. <laughs> okay, good. Um, what was the one with the chest first? This one? We need the loot, man! Give me the loot. What do we have here? Ooh, a watch! Okay, and what does this one do? Hopefully it opens that door. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. Oh, it's like Elizabeth, where? Oh boy! I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rab scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. 
All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. <sighs> Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. So we are more uh, more like Elizabeth than we ever. Are you from afar, Liz? It's where my mom was grave. Here she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. She is way more like Elizabeth than we realized, and hopefully that was the the eye opening that she needed. That's not the correct I phrase, but you know what I mean. I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. But hopefully that was what she needed to see in order to realize, like, okay, um, stop pushing my friends away. Caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. Okay, here comes nothing. I got a lot better at that because of one of the hunting grounds. Whoa! Fingers of steel. All right, but now where do I go? Grapple point. I can't make that jump. But if I glide. Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> Going down. Okay. Um good. So now I don't think what? I can get to the door from here. <gasps> I almost didn't make it. Um how do I get back? facility over there. I better take a look. Okay, so glide. And fire gleam. What's in here? What's in your box? What's that console next to it? Okay. Deal with the console in a second. Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. 
Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, cause I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. Okay, got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now, but see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Whew. Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> Check what my focus sees, maybe. There's data here. From Travis Tate. Trav here. Dug up some old files from Project Gossamer Thrall back before Hades moved in. Ted ain't nearly as thorough as he thinks. What his little doobies had going here? Woo-wee! And using some naughty bits and pieces from the Ramses project at that. There's the Moldova brain hack, of course, but also up-and-coming little devils like the know-it-all memer? <laughs> or my personal favorite, Sovereign 7482. Now that's an apex predator. Assuming control of them Tido bots and arming them with household appliances, Imagine tidying up after that. Gotta admit, it'd be fun to see him hunt in the wild, give him a taste of the good life before it lights out. But nah, ain't gonna give in to temptation. Guess that's what I get for hanging around Lizzie. Or maybe I just don't want to lose that sweet Elysium deal. This place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. Looks like this is connected to the door. That means the codes are open. Um, notebook. Did we get the... Hmm. Seven, four, eight, two? Maybe? Seven, four, eight, two. Oh, there we go. All right, I guess we're going up. Tilda, Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. But what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. 
Thank you. Let's speak again before... Goodbye, Tilda. And a little... Time will I go. Elizabeth sounded... sad at the end. I think this was personal. Indeed. <sighs> So many questions! There's the door. Getting close. Um, I can pull this, but I don't. Work on that. But what? Yes, it will. It has this thing. Okay. Never mind. Always makes my heart skip a beat when she does that. See what's over there. Okay, we're going. We're going. Ooh, I almost missed it. the music starting at the very be oh my goodness oh my goodness what is happening starting at the very beginning is not a very good place to start oh that's why this is here okay okay well luckily we can just go Should we don't have to, to over. Compile complete. Data file use of this. Ready for transmission. okay <laughs> let's try this again Press the right button that time. I knew it was coming and I still skipped a beat. Chest. <laughs> totally not worth it. Um, shit. Can I you find a closer spot? Nice. OK. 
Okay. So much for the flooded maze. Did it! I made it. Looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Let them back up. Start looking. Okay, first the chests, just in case we can't get them after. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Um, activate. no. What? Okay. What is this thing? That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Oh, there's chest. Oh, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this Recluse Spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Note from Trav. Remember, Honchos, that our very necessary security procedures require a complete diagnostic check on both the Gaia and the Hades repositories before each testing cycle. Can I put it any straighter? How about this? Triple check both of these big circular thingies before pressing the red button. Jesus, can't believe I'm the responsible one around here. Okay. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm? Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. Fingers crossed! <laughs> Got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. We shouldn't have told him we got two. We should have just taken them. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. He barely expected us. Not good. So. Well, so Can we hunt down those subfunctions? They said they dispersed in the world. Can we go find them? For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when guy blew herself Brains! Up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. But I do. A good one. If it works. Oh! That's like the equivalent of a bitch slap. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. No 
was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Oh, uh, yes, well, about that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> Try spying on me with that. Excuse me! There. New focus, spyware free. Oh, okay. I think. I, think I was like, what the fuck? We need that! I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. Much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. Please step inside. What the fu- How'd they do that? <laughs> hmm. Looks promising. Beta. We're getting introduced to them already? originate here. Has someone... Something wrong? What is happening? Shit. Ah, oh, shit is right! Beta. They built another clone. Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it. Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Mm. Um. Um. Sure. Excuse you. When she sent the pulse. Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. Do they have force fields? I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor as life fades from the eyes. This is not good, you guys. Ooh. No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? Yeah, I don't think we stand a chance, Eli. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be fun. 
saved by the crying baby. <laughs> okay guys, um, baby light is in the room now. I will cut out any audio that I possibly can, um, any mic audio that I possibly can that has her noises in it. But obviously if I'm talking, the mic audio needs to be included. So if she's making noise when I talk, you're gonna hear. Um, but I have to work around it. You guys know this by now. So we're gonna work with what we got. Like I always say, we're gonna do this fight. I'm a little nervous, I'm procrastinating. <laughs> All right, I got this, here we go. Okay. I'm not hurting him. <laughs> I need a way gotcha. out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. He's too close. I won't make it. Woo! <laughs> the range on him! You give me all those feelings, little girl. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Don't okay. Now I can break the cover and pull it through. I like to respond, so that's pretty quick thinking, Aloy. God damn it. Bye. Killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. This isn't good. There's a curve. There might be a way under this. Oh, this is stressful. This is stressful. I'm gonna drown. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Might be a way. Shit. Might be a way under this. Might be a way under this. Under what? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. from fuck I don't know where do I go where do I go where do I go bunker door Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help! Who are those specters? Okay, I didn't think I would be able to open that underwater. Who are those specters? I better stay out of their sight. Where are they? I don't think they're in here. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't see shit. Oh, I have to go that way. Okay. Boost! Boost, Aloy, boost! This is so stressful. I don't like it. Okay. This went fast. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. that when I swim faster, my oxygen goes down faster. <laughs> I know that makes sense, but I don't like it. This is so stressful. <laughs> Looks like some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. <sighs> I don't like that I can hear them. <laughs> Scary. 
This isn't good, guys. Perfect. This is not good. Anytime they give you a cutscene with something like that, you know oh. shit's about to go down. Oh good, electrified water. Exactly what we wanted. We're lucky that led somewhere and we didn't drown in there. Shit. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, that is a few cracked ribs. you I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. I love him, you guys. Hey, Lloyd. You... There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, Roots rot in snow Still the seed rises As certain as stone So? Holy shit, that was beautiful! <laughs> she should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. I don't know why that tone, That's holy nice. fuck, that tone just got to me so bad. <laughs> Veral said I should talk to you about the machines <laughs> in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. Oh, fuck. The place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. Her name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. Hi, Robbie. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her Ugh. condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I still need to talk. Of course. But this way. <laughs> the mountains, west of Plainsong. There are trouble out there. The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods? After the derangement, they've altered year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. What do they do so in this cave? cave? sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Maybe like a system Ray update? First, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors. Oh, that's cool. Each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. That's interesting. So I wonder if it's the same one that goes in and comes out, like it gets like a system upgrade or update, or if it is actually a different machine and they just think it's the same one. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort 
and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. Is there like a little... Has Vara moved down from Aloy? They just keep making eyes at each other. Um... Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. Oh, she's jealous! I wish it hadn't oh, taken an injury shit. to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. Oh, you said the boy. Has trouble with she had fears, her shot and she blew it. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Look at the way he look, look, oh. You guys, look at the way they look at each other. I'm so conflicted. Aloy did nothing to show Varl that she liked him, so he had no reason to hang on to her. Aloy has like a billion and one love interests, so I'm glad he's found somebody who looks at him the way that he wants to be looked at. But also, I want everyone to love Aloy. I need to get into that cave. Selfishly! What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods, Luxo. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> <laughs> She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Let them help you. Yours will take time. Heal first. Mm. And join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. Too stubborn for her own damn good. Huh. <sighs> She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So wait, it's not a uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <gasps> I'm so torn. I'm both so happy and so sad at the same time. Um. Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Oh, shit! Yeah, she is! Uh, yeah. Me oh, too. Varl, I'm so happy you found someone to love you. You're supposed to be resting. 
Laurel. You should go with her. Stop pushing him away! You trying to get rid of me so you can... No. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain sun when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Oh, my heart, it's breaking. We are walking a very lonely road, Aloy. spend my skill points off camera because it takes me a long time to decide what I want and I don't want to waste precious time. Oh, nice. She's getting pissed off. First that Karja Huntress, now this Outlander. Excuse you! So what do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Easy there, just bullet! Like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja huntress with a new Taru thrush. What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today running southwest. <laughs> More to friends. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't yeah. need your thanks. Don't Oh, move. shut up. I hate when people are rude to you for no reason. I haven't been rude to you. You don't know me. Ugh. I'm here, as promised. That singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself, and the tribe. Okay, before I continue, I think this is so cool. This whole tribe is so cool because we read that one data pack thing that said how each of the satellites were Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Ti. And their whole tribe is based around music. Their gods are named after the notes. They are the have the chorus, they sing. I just, that's so cool. They're like influenced by the environment. So cool. Um... You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but... Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. <laughs> Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs. 
And even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> Alright. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these <laughs> situations. <laughs> yes, she can. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Well. Okay. Cool. So, we've got a bunch of things to explore here. Let's go pick up this little side quest. Their outfits remind me of the swamp people in The Last Airbender. <laughs> but their housing reminds me of Avatar, like the blue people Avatar. How do I... What's going on? Some funky noise is happening. How do I get up there? <laughs> I feel like this is not the way. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna pick this up right now, cause... I gotta find out how to get up there! Oh, I bet I have to go- okay. These are all connected. So... Machine strike. Ooh. So far I'm not a huge fan of the game. I might just need to play it more, but... Right now, not a huge fan of Machine Strike, which is disappointing because I love when games have any games in it. Like I loved, well, love Gwent. I really liked Orlog. Um, most people hated it, but I loved Dominoes in Red Dead. Hated horseshoes in the first Red Dead though. Not a fan of horseshoes. Please, can we speak? Please! The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. 
A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who'll even listen to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight, as usual among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in Riverhim's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe Outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll Her eyes are so pretty. Holy shit. We sacrifice too much. You said your own people won't help. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like Riverhim as lost lands no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. All right, I, ugh, as much as I wanna do another main mission, I'm worried that that's gonna take a really, really long time. And this video might be like five hours long if I do one. That's obviously an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Oh, there's just so much I want to do. That's the problem. I want to do it all right this second. Ah. Oh, we're swimming. Just let me know what you need. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. Because the more main missions I do, the more I unlock, and then the more I can play off camera. <laughs> so that when I can't record, I can still play. What is this little school? <sighs> Hi! I hope this works. All right, what do we got? Oh, that could be good. That's the only thing I can get, but I kind of like... Oh, that looks so cool! Oh, we're getting that. Be worth it so well. Look how cool we look! Look at us! <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome! Okay, so... Melee, piercing, fire. Should I add to the fire? Or should I do something else? It increases it by nine. I feel like... Concentration, range attack damage. Hmm. Okay, let's try to get as diverse of coverage as possible. We look so cool. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. 
The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? <laughs> of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? Oh, man. Oh, let's go talk to them. I'm not ready. What happens if someone born to this tribe is um, tone death? <laughs> tone death. I just said tone death. Yes, but if they die from tones. Tone death. You're just like ousted from the tribe if you can't sing. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word. Excuse you. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says Maybe the don't diss their tradition. Ignorant of our just beliefs. saying. I mean, I agree with you, but maybe we just are a little bit more tactful Please. about how we go about it. Remember how she brought peace to Ray? Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions, should we change our ways to suit Every impudent outsider who wanders into plain sight. Who are you calling impudent? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a thing. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Bitch, clearly you don't know me. <laughs> A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Ooh, we are going to prove ourselves now. Oh, boy. That can't be good. The cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon Screw the chorus. The chorus. The to prevent us from going in the cave. <laughs> the cordon and chorus is the chorus. The time for permission is over. Oh, Zoe, I like you. Then off we go. <laughs> You're a rebel. Oh, this music is pumping me up. so cool in my new clothes. We just went shopping. If only I could afford to do that in real life. Fighting in the fields ahead. I miss shopping for clothes. <laughs> I know that sounds so stupid. But I do. Fire is wasting the machine. Apex scrap. Oh no. I've seen these machines before. Oh no. Two killers. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend planes. We have to move. Okay. Okay, you don't gotta tell me twice. Sorry guys. Good luck! You've made yourself a target. Whoa! 
do you really think we can do something about all of this? All right. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, goodies. Hold on. The world's falling apart, but I need to loot. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready. More machines. These machines are stronger. Deadlier yeah. than normal. They're all Apex versions. Whoa! missing land god in that cave. I missed loot back there. Oh, sorry. There. Watch out, little fox. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. Oh boy. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Okay, well. Okay, what's that? Weak advanced. Okay, tag that. And we need to the teeth. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, they're quick. They're quick. They're quick. I'm hitting its arm. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Burn, baby, burn. Show me your belly. Show me your belly. <laughs> ah! Oh, get out of the way. I thought I got it. I didn't. Ooh. There we go. Go, Ayla, go on. Go, go, go. That's the last one. Shooting off parts is my favorite thing to do. Okay, those guys are quick. Oh, sorry, Utaru guard. Oh, there's a gun over there I could have gotten. Oh, well. Didn't really need it, I suppose. But it probably would have made things easier. Machines are everywhere. Okay, um, I need- I wasn't able to really read what these were. Sealed stoneware vessel contains chill water. Okay, so in the hunting grounds they had those but for smoke bomb stuff. So I just assumed they were all like that, but it seems like they do different types of effects. Which is really cool. Still don't know what I use those for. Um, 
I get the shrine now. So cute. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the court and the defenders? You better be ready for anything. Oh god, I should probably help. It's over. This is really pretty. The cordon. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. They will be moved when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. Oh boy. I should have tried to upgrade things before I did this. I kind of forgot. What is this? This is fancy! We shouldn't linger here. I can grab this from my stash later. Um. We got a new outfit. Oh, that is cool looking. But it does stealth damage. That could be good. Purge water trap. Ooh. Volatile sludge. What the hell is that? I don't know. May the land gods forgive our trespass. As we forgive yes. those. A kind of wall. Made of light. Up Follow here. Your lead, Aloy. Oh, Look I was kind of just coming up here for the plant, but sure, we, we can go this way. <laughs> I just wanted the health plant. really know what those are for as I said before I haven't met like a dye merchant or anything like that I don't think maybe there's one in the in plain song or not a dye merchant but like a dyer you know what I mean where am I going I don't know um down I guess like a cauldron door Okay, I'm glad I didn't do the other cauldron since we're gonna do a cauldron together right now. To understand what's going on in there, you're gonna need one of these. Good thing we collected a shit ton. Apparently we just got them popping out like daisies. On the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, takes some getting used to. <laughs> Don't worry, Zoe. I'll help. Now listen. He's so concerned. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Oh, good. Follow my lead. I just got the chills from that. For anything. Last game, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I got turned around a lot 
We have to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Into the unknown. Machines in here. We'll have to take them out. Right behind you. Oh, with. Oh, with again, but I hit something else instead, so I guess that works. I shall strike, he says. I didn't realize it was coming at me. Ah! Ooh, get it, get it, get it, get it. No. Oh, I should not have hit that one. That was that was generous game. Thank you. What it? It's like a lick a tongue. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're missing. We are whiffing big time. Excuse me, Zo. They're hard when they hop around. Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> that couldn't have been any closer. <laughs> Fuck. They got range. <laughs> Woo! So this is a cauldron where machines are born. It looks like Boy. one, but if the land gods come and go. Then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired too. And the spirit you're after is in here. Minerva? Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. Okay. Onward. Small stamina, but what? We have stamina? all these things. I don't know. Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. Yeah, the they shouldn't be glowing purple though. An infection. That thing I said, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killer machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is rotted to the roots. Burn it Looks down! Like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Oh no. What have I done? I don't know, what have you done? Wait, do that again. Stepping on the floor panel activated something. It looks like parts of those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. Okay, where's the shot? Oh boy, that's making me dizzy. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying having friends on this adventure. Cross, if I can get them into the right position. Okay, so that's this glowy thing. Another floor panel to help you and Amy. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down. Can I shoot that? 
What's that thing beyond the wall? <laughs> this crate should be heavy enough. Well, that's new. I think I can get the crate through that shield. But I'll have to go around. Okay, getting there. I'll stash this away for later. Okay. She is strong. That did it. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. Okay. Where's the other one? Oh. There. Should be able to get across now. It's how Aloy saw the old way. Yeah. It reveals things. Lights, images. I love how he's teaching her. Weaknesses on a machine. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Um, oh, this is in the floor panel. I was like, is this one broken? Oh, fuck. Missed it. Oh, missed it twice. I appreciate the fact that there isn't a draw time. Like, you know, in some games, if you hold it too long, it just auto shoots it. I am glad that is not the case. Making that jump. Aloy seems familiar with places like this. Are you as well? No. I've been in an old Lock room. disengaged. Nothing like this. I see. Do I need to shoot that one too? Shoot. There we go. Oh, I missed. Fuck. She said there was only two. This is definitely three. Okay. Now I can cross. Or is that the last one? My memory is is jumbled. That might have been the last one. I keep thinking I'm hearing an undertone to the chorus, and I don't think I actually am, but just like stuck in my brain or something. Like, right there, I just heard it. Maybe just the music in this area has the same kind of tone to it? I don't know. Got it. The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. Nice. Come on, Franz. No, the music here is definitely the same as the chorus was singing. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Sure you will. You know, you could come too. <sighs> oh, I don't like that. <gasps> Ooh! Hurry, 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 hurry! <sighs> Stress. <laughs> okay, we're we're stuck. We're stuck on the ledge. Now, how to get up to the node? Break that again for starters. This will be my stash That's when I need it. Not the way. Okay. Where do I go? This 
way? All right, let's see what we can do. Come on over, you two. Sorry, Baby Light was crying, but it's because Mr. Light got here and she heard him. <laughs> Who is that? Hephaestus. It's taken over this whole place. Looks like there's another node on the other side. Near that door. Go do your thing. How to get to that node on the other side? Shield. Okay, there's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I glide. Where is this platform? Oh, that one. Okay. Is this easy? There's nothing down there. It didn't really look. I just went. Okay, now what? This way. I think I can hitch a ride on one of those metal carriers. Okay. We have good grip strength. Grip strength, Aloy. Oh, I definitely need to go to one of those ones. Oh, wasn't planning on it. I thought I needed to, because those ones go over that panel. I was gonna drop on it. Guess not. <laughs> Now, this way. Should be able to glide to that platform down there. The Alright, this is probably the safer way. But my way would have been more fun. facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile they used to be part of something good something called Gaia I do have to say growth I think we're with almost at the core be ready got your back Aloy has had major growth with opening up and telling people, at least. She won't let them help her, typically, but she's trusting people with the information, which is growth. So I will give credit where credit is due. Oh, no. Oh, boy. What has Hephaestus done to her? Turn it into a weapon, which sooner or later will be unleashed. That's and not good. Plain song. If my people see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. <laughs> Are you ready? First, let's be smart about this. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. 
Um, oh, that's cool. Okay. Set some shit up. And let's equip our where is it? Shock trip caster. And let's put it put it there for now because I'm not sniping anybody. And set a couple of these up. Where's the best bet, though? There and... Oh, too far away, apparently. I can only do one tripwire? Oh, man. Last game? When I was in a cauldron, I would set tripwires around every point. So the whole circle was surrounded in tripwires and then each tripwire had a bomb behind it. Oh, it was a great strategy. It worked more times than not. It made it harder. Come here, buddy. Uh-oh. 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 I couldn't see shit. Ah! Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, good. Yep, we're on fire. We are on fire. These things are no joke. Holy shit. Oh, and we're whipping every shot. Cool. 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 Oh. Holy guacamole. Okay, okay, okay. This is not this is not working for me. I need to take out the little guys first. Turn green. Shit. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is not good. See what its weaknesses were. Oops.
shit. <laughs> ah, that was so hard. Uh, the machine that nearly killed us. It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? One step at a time. we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. That was fun. I definitely have to read up on that because I need to know what its weaknesses are. Holy frick. It seemed like fire on the back. Aloy, cool. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. Let's find out. Okay, we will, but first, loot. Oh, that was overwhelming. I don't like that you can only do one trip wire at a time. I can get it for my stash later. Not a fan of that. Throws off my whole strategy. Sorry, I just jumped on your god. Whoops! Looks like Festus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. The data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. What does that mean? This doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Bristleback? Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. What machines did we get? Ooh, I'm excited to look at that. Utaru Whisperer. Greetings, graduates of Cradle 9. Welcome to the regional... Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Last time the cauldrons just lifted us into the air when we <laughs> when we uh, hacked them. Attention, all personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? Some sort of lab. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiate facility lockdown. Stand oh, good. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? I the don't know. It's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure oh, it's boy. safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us.
Can't see shit. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. Not a fan of this red lighting. Way to access the facility systems. It's harsh on the eyes. Can I pry this door open? Locked. Nope. Okay, had to check. Could be loot back there. Alert! Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Um... Let's see where this leads. There's lots of them. Okay, we'll go out there in a second. What are all those cables in the center for? Don't know. Minerva's shutting me out. Aw, oh, man. Guess I gotta get that loot later. So the question is, which one? I feel like the red light is giving me a headache. Dead end. Not this one. <laughs> I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. There might be, but, uh, let's look over here first. Oh, out of the red light! Looks like another part of the facility. Door is locked. Ah! Uh. Damn it! <laughs> into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. Oh, I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing nice. this light, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Um, not that way. This way. God, her fingers would be so cold. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let's go. Thank you. I might be able to glide to that ledge. Do I want to go down there, though? No. Some of those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Another shaft. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. <laughs> looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Boy, I don't know, but I don't like System it. It's hot in here. No! Well, how'd that work out for you? Minerva? 
I need the console. Please. Access denied. Why? It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Misery. Let's cease. Yes. Misery! You guys, she can feel pain right now. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Was that pain caused by Hephaestus? Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Uh, sure. Hi, Gaia. to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. fake this time? No. This time she's real. Laurel? So? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Establish the network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Alright guys, as much as I want to keep playing, I have to stop there. Oh! <gasps> This is so good. So good. This is so good. I I I don't even know what to say. This is this game is just so good. This game is so good. I have no idea who the hell those people are, but they were very technological, so I'm assuming they are there must have been some successful space mission. That's the only thing I can think of, because where else would they have come from? Um, but what do they want with us? 
why are they trying to destroy the earth? Because it feels like they're trying to. Maybe they want to be the only humans. I don't know. I don't know. The signal might not have even come from them. I have no idea. What are they doing back? I have so many questions. I'm so excited to rebuild Gaia though. That is going to be awesome because we're going to hunt down different pieces. It seems like this is going to be our base of operations. So we're going to have a central hub that we keep coming back to. And I'm just so excited. Um, can't wait to read up on those machines. The data was corrupted. So I'm assuming we are going to have to find more, um, more cauldrons in order to fully be able to get the scoop on all of the the machines like last game when you did a cauldron you just were able you unlocked a machine right away from there so i'm assuming machines are going to need multiple pieces because they wouldn't have said oh the data is corrupt if there was no reason for it um so i'll be curious to see if that's actually the case and I don't know what else to say because I'm just fangirling big time. I just freaking love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day.